Hello, Father James Kubicki here. With the beginning of Lent, we've been reading and reflecting on Pope Benedict's 2011 Lenten message and its emphasis on baptism. Throughout history, many people were baptized at the Easter Vigil, which comes at the end of Lent, and I'm sure that in your own parish communities there are catechumens, or people preparing to be received into our faith. We walk with them during these final weeks of their journey into the Catholic Church, and we want to support them with our prayers. Let's keep them especially in mind now as we hear part of Pope Benedict's message. The Church has always associated the Easter Vigil with the celebration of baptism. This sacrament realizes the great mystery in which man dies to sin, is made a sharer in the new life of the risen Christ, and receives the same Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead. This free gift must always be rekindled in each one of us, and Lent offers us a path like that of the catechumenate, which, for the Christians of the early church, just as for catechumens today, is an irreplaceable school of faith and Christian life. Truly, they live their baptism as an act that shapes their entire existence. In order to undertake more seriously our journey towards Easter and prepare ourselves to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord, the most joyous and solemn feast of the entire liturgical year, what could be more appropriate than allowing ourselves to be guided by the Word of God. For this reason, the Church, in the Gospel texts of the Sundays of Lent, leads us to a particularly intense encounter with the Lord, calling us to retrace the steps of Christian initiation. For catechumens, in preparation for receiving the sacrament of rebirth. For the baptized, in light of the new and decisive steps to be taken in the following of Christ, and a fuller giving of oneself to him.